All right, welcome into the show. Creative Crypto here. And I hope everyone had a great Christmas and is having a great holiday season. I wanted to make a quick video because I found this very interesting. I just noticed this last night on Christmas when I was doing some transactions here on Pulse Chain. And I wanted to bring it to your attention because last night it got me very, very excited for Pulse Chain, but it didn't last. Basically, what happened last night when I was doing transactions, and I'll show you in my wallet, okay? So let me let me first go to previous transactions, okay? So as you guys know, if you've been using Pulse Chain, you were using about, you know, 100 PLS per transaction, depending on what you were doing, if you're interacting with different smart contracts, okay? Mostly between 100 to, you know, give or take 100 to 50 PLS, you know, here's an 80, okay? Now, what happened on Christmas was quite interesting. Okay, as you can see, here's my transactions here. All of a sudden, it was 0.1 PLS, okay, 0.19. Here's a sell, here's a swap on the exchange for 0 0.024 total PLS fees. And I was like, is this, is this real? Is this really happening? And yes, it did, guys. It really did happen. Okay, here's a transaction from 11 hours ago, okay, when I swapped some die for PLS. You can see the beats was only 202 beats, and it went through easily, okay? The fees burned, barely any. The gas price, look at the transaction fee, guys. This is absolutely insane, okay? If you take this for the current pulse price, Come over here. Okay, this is 10,000th of a penny. This is what everybody got so excited about from Pulse Chain. And this is what we were promised from Richard Hart when he first created Pulse Chain was transactions were going to be this cheap. And they were this cheap on the test net when we first started. So that's why I was super bullish on Pulse Chain coming out of the test net phase when they launched the mainnet. But then all of a sudden, when they launched mainnet, the gas prices spiked insanely high and we really didn't know the reason for it. Okay. Some people thought maybe because there weren't that many validators online yet. Okay. It was a brand new blockchain. There was, you know, learning curve and growing pains along the way. And there was transactions as high as 10,000 PLS, a hundred thousand PLS. And we're back down to a reasonable level. We were, you know, around 80 to a hundred PLS per transaction, which isn't bad. Okay. A hundred PLS, you're looking at about half of a penny, okay, which is still very competitive and probably the best, cheapest layer two out there. But if you had the 0 0.024, I mean, this <laughs> is absolutely insane. And these transactions did happen, guys, okay? I did these last night, uh, you know, and they were all going through. And I didn't, I, I wasn't changing the gas price myself. It was just going off the recommended gas price for, these dApps that use, you know, different gas trackers and things. Okay. And you can see just insane. I, I just, I don't know what happened. Okay. But then today I went to make this video because I was going to be super excited and super pumped and share that with you guys. But then I went to check today and I did a swap and it cost me 38 PLS. Okay. So here's a swap I did today. I just did it three minutes ago. Okay. I just did a little tester for one die. All right. And the beats are back up to 285,000 beats. So how can that be so manipulated? Is Richard Hart literally manipulating this? And <laughs> I think he probably is at this point. Um, so he can flip a switch whenever he wants to change the gas price and how much it's going to cost. And I had that feeling when when Pulse Chain first launched that that's what he did because the higher the beats, the higher the gas price, the more fees burned, the lower the supply of Pulse Chain will go over time. So there is an incentive to have this high, but also you want to have it low because you want to have the cheapest layer two to transact and to move money around. And, you know, that's basically the vision of Pulse Chain was to be the cheapest layer two and to be, you know, a thousand or a ten thousandth of a penny to transact. And that's what we were pitched on for Pulse Chain when we sacrificed. And so I was super excited last night to see that that's where we were. 
and I was, man, I was, that's why I, I, I traded all my die for Pulse. I was like, man, if this is happening, Pulse is going to explode if this is the, the actual gas prices moving forward. But I don't know what happened, okay, because Richard Hart came on and he had a little video that he made. And I don't know if it was just like a Christmas gift lowering the gas price for 24 hours or what. But, yeah, I I was surprised to see it. Um, it was really incredible to see. But, of course, we're back up to the normal amount. So what does this mean for Pulse Chain? Well, it's still good. I mean, you know, you're looking at this one here is what I just did. 38 transaction, okay, 21 PLS burned. But what I don't understand, and maybe someone can help me out in the comments, is why was my value 18,000 PLS, but it spent 16,000 on the wrap pulse to the die, and the transaction fee was 38. Where is the additional 2,000 pulse going? Or is it not going anywhere? I'm trying to understand that because it's kind of confusing because you go over here, you know, this was a swap before, and it, the value was zero PLS. And I swapped 35 die for 541,000 PLS. And the value it said was zero. But then this one, it's saying it's 18. So I don't know. I honestly don't know what this is. Um, maybe someone can help me out in the comments. But yeah, I just found this very interesting. And the gas prices are still lower than they were. Okay, I, I will say that. Um, but just very interesting how in literally 24 hour period, a little less than 24 hour period, basically 11 hour period, how we can go from 202 beats was the gas price and it was going through completely fine. And now we're back up to 285,000 beats. So someone's pulling the strings behind this, the curtain. Someone's being the puppet master. Of course, it's probably Richard Hart himself. Is that a bad thing for Pulse? Well, it's remained to be seen at this point because it's tough having this type of layer two because you want to have transaction fees high enough to incentivize validators and incentivize people to secure the network to get fees. You know, you want to have that, but then you also want to have the cheapest layer two that we were promised to transact. And, you know, it was just insane getting this, the, these prices, I mean, I was so pumped. I was like, are you kidding me? I mean, I'm paying, you, you guys, let me do the math on this real quick. So basically if we take a, if we take a penny divided by this, we get 6,605. So it would take you 6,605 transactions to get to one penny in gas. Pretty sure, let me, let me, let me, re, let me try that again. Okay, let me multiply this by this, and it should equal a penny. Yep. So yeah, at this price that was happened 11 hours ago, you would have to do 6,605 transactions to spend one penny. I mean, that's absolutely insane. That is, <laughs> that is what Pulse Chain was designed to be. That's what Pulse Chain was created for, to have the most minimal gas prices possible. Okay, which is possible on Pulse Chain, but you know, for incentivizing the validators and having you know fees paid and, and fees burned, they probably want it to be higher. So, you know, it is what it is. I was just so pumped to see it. I don't know what was going on last night, if they were testing something out or what. But I was pretty bullish there on Pulse Chain for a little bit of time, but we're back to the normal, you know, still lower than it was. Okay, 38, it's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, it was just, it was just great to see guys, you know? Okay. So 38. So yeah, not too bad, you know, basically five tenths of a penny there. Still good. Still better than, you know, Binance Smart Chain and Base and Matic and Avalanche and all those other ones. So yeah, just, just my little takeaway there from Pulse Chain. Still though, the liquidity is just, and that's what I took away from his video last night, guys, was, you know, I just still, he just still never addresses the sacrifice money that was raised. Okay, like where did that go? Okay, you can't fool people in crypto, guys. Okay, we know it didn't take a billion dollars to create Pulse Chain. There's no way in hell. Okay, there's no way in hell. So where did those funds go? See, I originally thought those funds that we sacrificed was going to be used as liquidity for the bridge 
for Pulse Chain itself, but the liquidity is not there on Pulse Chain. Okay, there's literally <laughs> 300 grand, there's not even a million dollars of liquidity on Pulse Chain. It does get kind of aggravating if you, you know, were a sacrificer and it just, it just kind of kills the dream because it's like, well, man, if I make a million dollars on Pulse Chain, you can't really cash it out. <laughs> I mean, how are you going to cash out a million dollars on Pulse Chain? It's, it's literally impossible at this point. So you have to do it very, very slowly over time. So yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. Found that really interesting. I hope the liquidity continues to improve. I hope they continue to lower the gas prices and get back to those test net numbers that we were testing in the first place because that's what we were really promised with Pulse Chain. Okay. So yeah, I'm still bullish on Pulse Chain. I still, you know, interact with Pulse Chain every day. I invest in projects on Pulse Chain. I'm still bullish for the long term on Pulse Chain. Just there are just some questions that need to be addressed that haven't been addressed. And hopefully, you know, there's all a plan for this and it's all in the plan. So we shall see. So anyway, guys, just want to make this little video and share that with you. I found that quite interesting on Pulse Chain. And maybe you can tell me in the comments what you think happened, what you think was going on 11 hours ago. And maybe we can see what's going on. So, all right, guys, I appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a great day out there wherever you guys are. Hope you guys continue to have a great rest of 2023, and I hope we continue to thrive into 2024 and beyond. So guys, I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you guys next time. Until the next time, we'll talk again. Creative Crypto, out.